All right, welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week we're playing Science Time and we're talking about our oval chain ring and if it actually worked or not. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell icon right next to that. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of these awesome cycling content we got going on on this channel. So right into the science time on this time of your favorite cyclist. So what are we talking about? So about a year ago, I talked about the cheapest oval chain rings out there and whether they worked or not. So the cheapest oval chain ring I had at the time was a snail chain ring. And if I remember right, I installed it on my mountain bike. At the time I installed it, the Superfly was still set up as a single speed. So I pretty much replaced it with a 32 tooth oval chain ring, replacing my 32 tooth regular, regular round chain ring. Did it work? Of course, that's why everyone's here. Well, we're gonna get a little bit more into that in a second. So, not only did I install the cheapest oval chain ring on my mountain bike, but off camera, and I think in a different, I don't remember if I did a video or not, and I did the same thing with the road bike. These chain rings were the exact same size as the ones that were on my road bike originally and the round chain rings that were there. So on my road bike, these were a 50 tooth for the big one and a 35 for the small. Same chain rings I have on my road bike all the time and I ride with right now, except these are ovals. So what did I think of these? So first off, oval chain rings are kind of a pain to install. Just being real here, you gotta make sure they are lined up properly. And if they're not, well, you're not getting the full benefits of them. Nice thing with the road bike one, has a pin that goes under your crank set. So you kind of know which way it needs to go. Mountain bike one, it had an arrow that goes under your crank set. So you kind of had a way to tell which way they were in, which I haven't seen on some other brands. They don't really tell you which way it needs to go. So that made it pretty easy to line them up and work that way. The road bike, those chain rings worked fine. I never had a problem with them. The mountain bike one, however, this chain ring is actually bent. Just a slight bend, but it's enough that while you're riding, it messes with your rear derailleur and messes with the clutch and makes your shifting not near as precise as it could be. And it took me a while to figure that out. It actually took me until I was gonna swap back to a round chain ring to figure out that this was actually bent. And if I put it down on the table and we move around, yeah, that's the chain ring moving, it's actually bent. And it was interesting, I didn't know why it was bent until I changed my 32 tooth out for a 30 tooth in my last video. That's, the, that's when I saw the damage to my bash guard. I don't know how I missed it the first time, but that's when I saw the damage to the bash guard where obviously I hit someone pretty hard and I'm assuming this guy smacked that, smashed that bash guard and that's how it got bent. So is it the chain ring's fault? Well, I can say I've bent one of these and I haven't bent a regular chain ring before. So it could be. I can tell you this one actually feels pretty decent compared to this one. So I don't know if it was the chain ring's fault or if it was me crashing. Pretty sure it happened to Sky Tavern when I crashed really hard. But we're not talking about my crash right now. We're talking about the oval chain ring. So let's talk about the question everybody asks. Everybody wants to know, is the oval chain ring the cure all and the best thing that's ever happened to bikes since sliced bread? Well, no, I do not believe it is. That's my answer there. I can say that I've ridden, like I said, I rode this when I super fly with a single speed. Didn't notice any difference at all. It felt about the same. Rode it when I went a one by nine. Really didn't notice much of a difference. Felt about the same. And to make sure that it felt about the same, I switched back to my 32 tooth round chain ring and rode it some more. Felt the same. Since I had never ridden this on my one by nine, I didn't know how it felt, so I made sure I switched back to make see how it felt and it felt about the same. I really did not notice much of a difference going from oval to round. Road bike, did it make a difference? No. Didn't notice a single thing on the road bike. I rode that on the trainer too, with a cadence sensor and a speed sensor, doing training sessions on it. Never noticed a difference on it. It felt about the same. I was getting about the same output. I realistically, it didn't seem to make much of a difference in my riding experience. It definitely was not what I feel they put it out to be. Generally, what I see is the oval chain ring will cure and make you stronger and make you faster and make climbing easier. I do a lot of climbing where I'm at. There's a lot of climbing and I can say that this oval chain ring did, didn't help with climbing that much. I really, you don't notice it. It feels about the same as a regular, you know, regular round chain ring. Initially, you may feel a little weird riding this. So I remember riding this when I first got it and you notice it a little bit that, hey, yeah, it feels kind of weird riding this in a circle. But after a while, it feels like any other chain ring. It goes away and you don't notice it at all. And then you put back on an oval chain ring, you hop on the back on the oval chain ring and it feels the same. So, you know, that feeling is, it's temporary. It doesn't last for very long. So, 
Would I recommend buying an oval chain ring? I know there's companies out there that make more expensive ones. I, I can't tell you if they're better or not. I don't think they are. You can only make an oval chain ring so many ways, right? I mean, it's an oval. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could make it longer and shorter if you wanted to on the ends, but I really don't think oval chain rings between a really inexpensive one, I can't remember how much I paid for, it was like 15 or 20 bucks. It was not very expensive versus some of the more expensive ones that are 100, you know, 100 bucks or so. I couldn't say there's a big difference between them, especially versus just a standard round chain ring. Are you gonna notice a big difference with it? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, and I'm gonna say an oval chain ring, especially the cheapest oval chain ring, really isn't worth your money. You're better off just sticking with your standard round chain ring, or if you need to change your chain ring out, just get a nice, get another round chain ring. These race face chain rings work great. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just like the race face stuff because it's a good bargain. It's a good bargain brand for what you get. So that's my final review of the snail cheapest oval chain rings. Are they worth it? No. Just, just run it over. Just run a standard round chain ring. Even for your road bike guys, just run a standard round chain ring. I really don't notice it very much when I'm riding, if at all. I can't say it's helped me climb. I can't say it's made me go faster. I can't say any of that because it hasn't. I've been about the same, same, same in everything really. So my climbs have been the same, my road rides have been the same. Nothing's changed since I went from around chain ring to the oval chain rings and then back to around chain rings. Everything feels the same, nothing is different. So hopefully you guys learned from this oval chain ring video and hopefully you enjoyed our science time today on how oval chain rings don't work. <laughs> on how oval chain rings, well, they don't really work that well. And how you should just get around chain ring. So I'm gonna have a lot of comments. I can already see the. I can already see the number of comments in my head on people claiming oval chain rings are the best things ever, and round chain rings are this and all that. But that's my conclusion. I did not notice any difference between a round chain ring and an oval chain ring. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering any questions you guys have. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.